Alam, which has started with the inauguration of exhibition of rare books and photographs on Jummu and Kashmir above uh, in the Museum of Central Asian Studies include the prize distribution to most frequent user of the library and book review session. America's role is a major, major activity of today's event. The review shall be made for inaugurating the book exhibition of Spiel. And I'm going to Professor Noor Abad Baba. With these few words, I once again welcome you all to this session with the hope that our young generation will... The book is by and large a documentation of events we start from the day when Kashmir issue was taken to the United Nations. But for my young friends here, this book provides you an opportunity to look at the web of 47. The United Nations recognized the right of self-determination. In 1947, Sixth Committee of UN was formed. And the cases of all those areas where self-determination had to take place were assigned to the Sixth Committee. Kashmir didn't find place in the Sixth Committee. Kashmir was not referred to the Sixth Committee. Although the issue of self-determination kept on ringing within the walls of the United Nations, I don't find an answer to this. One issue is that. Second, did Kashmir become a pawn in the big game of world powers? in which India had to be pressurized to belong to one particular block or the other. Pakistan was to be dragged into one or the other block. And there was no way out to resolve Kashmir issue. The author of this book Howard Sheffer says claims to have been working in Delhi as an official of the United States Embassy. Austin did not buy this. However, then 90, we all, all witnessed what happened and uh, even in Kargil War, as Bill Clinton intervened, escalations were controlled. Schaeffer says that, now he concludes what his conclusion is. Very interestingly, he concludes by saying that India has come closer to America, being an emerging economic power. And they have become now nuclear partners also. However, Schaeffer advises India to show flexibility and says that if India wants a seat in the Security Council, it has to address the issue of Kashmir. And then wisely says that, what can America do? Now he raises the technicality. He's talking of negotiators, arbitrators, and facilitators. And he uses a technical distinction. Who is an arbitrator? What his role is? Who is a negotiator? What a negotiator can do? And who is a facilitator? So he clear, cleverly says that America cannot be a negotiator, 
America cannot be arbitrator because India is not ready to accept that. But at the best, U.S. can play the role of a facilitator. Uh, there is no impact on the situation. As students of political science, I would also say uh, we do have some inkling of what power politics as it operates globally. We have some understanding of patterns. Uh, but then uh, I would say I would still give the credit to the book. Uh, he has done a useful uh, uh, work of compiling the uh, uh, a kind of chronology with certain uh, analysis of how USA got involved at different levels in situation on Kashmir. But many a times we don't... But the book tells us that how, how Kashmir issue has been a factor in the global politics. It provides you many important insights how in, during the Cold War this issue became the central issue in the relations, especially with regard to the uh, South Asian politics. As regards Professor Saab's uh, certain points, I would come to them also. A couple of things that my uh, revered friends missed is that the United States right in the beginning was looking for independent Kashmir. They had toyed with this idea. That's where Mr. Austin mentioned by Professor Saab. He looks for a person who could be their man in Kashmir, who could carry forward their idea. And they found Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah as an ideal person. And when Sheikh Saab went to the United Nations, along with the Indian delegation, this is what Schaeffer writes. He talked to Austin and told him, when Austin, he referred this third option, idea, to Austin. And Austin was, he readily told him that we will be supporting you. That's how, that's what Schaeffer says. But what happens later, that Sheikh Abdullah death heard. He tried to wriggle out. The independent. He had hit very vague idea about what he wanted. So that is what our reviewers did not mention in their review. He talks about Henderson. He talks about all these people who were somehow or the other involved in this whole exercise at different junctures of our history. If we agree with the Professor Saab that United States had accepted the legality in 1947, then United Nations would not have been the co-sponsor uh, co-sponsor of the resolution. United States was the co-sponsor of the resolution that brought uh, that United States would not have insisted on the appointment of Mr. Nims as the uh, pelvis administrator. So there, when we come, so far as the book is concerned, this is, this, there are, these were the certain points, because I am not to review the book, uh, I have just to make certain observations. As regards uh, Kashmir becoming pawn in the hands of the, the harshly, that I'm not going to buy, uh, leave an, even an inch of Kashmir. Uh, don't show us your teeth. Uh, but at the same time, they were ready. If we see, go through the book, the United States presence is from day one till current day in the Kashmir issue. And India and Pakistan both accept as the as a negotiator thank you with these words very much i think uh, i must congratulate vice chancellor for reviewing the book and also the commentators on the book but primarily i agree with the vice chancellor's position because he has better understanding of the diplomacy than uh, my other friends, in the sense his, and his understanding of American uh, acceptance of the stark reality does not take much away from a